Mike Wazowski. Yeah. <laughs> no, let's, uh, let me do this. Wazowski, <laughs> you didn't file your paperwork last night. I know, uh, yeah. What is up, guys? It's Jake. And it's Josh. And, the other uh, guy. <laughs> we're going to... Well, I'm, I'm going to be doing something uh, different that I've never done before. Well, actually, I've done before, but not on camera. But after watching, like, Josh's... Um, I know Josh did a Godzilla and Kong movie tier lists, which you guys can go check that out. I'll link that video in the description. It was a while uh, back. It was before the movie can't, had come out. It's long. Yeah. But bear with me. This, I did not. I was. I was lazy. I didn't want to edit it. So <laughs> bear with me on this, that video. This will not. This will not be long. Uh, yeah. So since uh, since since Luca came out today on Disney Plus, Josh and I will be ranking all uh i think 23 pixar movies it's 20 is it 23 i think so i think it's 23 i believe it's 23 being completely honest i have not seen all of these so any of the ones that i have not seen i'm just gonna say it and i'm gonna let jake make the decision yeah yeah so, i have cool. seen i have seen all of these and I'm, I'm i'm looking through these and i'm like oh man i have not seen all of these like, right i'm realizing i make this, that realization of oh man i didn't see all these yet hopefully maybe it's a so pilot. i i think we're gonna go in order <laughs> of like of like when it's like chronologically like released i guess all right do we remember which i think i know which i i I, 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 I can nail that one <laughs> i i know what it is i i i know what the first one yeah. was of course it's obvious so Toy Story was the first ever Pixar movie and actually the first ever computer generated like <laughs> like movie. So this was like the new the new thing. At least one of them, I think. At least one of them. Yeah. I have no so, idea if the movies came before it, but it should, you know. Right. Something. Uh I uh this was my childhood. I had I had it on VHS. I still have it on VHS and uh, DVD. Um, yep. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, I I got I got to put it as as a classic, you know, because can't get enough of this movie. Because you know, Woody and Buzz, you, you got you got to love them, and it's Pixar's like it was their first movie, and it was a, it was a success. It's like toys come to life like when you're not you're not in a room like when you leave the room like the toys like interact and just i love the story of like uh it's basically about you know um what's a toy's like purpose like are are you a toy because that's what buzz lightyear was like he was like throughout the whole movie trying to figure out like what what he is when he does figure out when he's he's a toy he kind kind of does. It's kind of sad, but he kind of you know just goes with it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I know. I agree. I totally agree. It was, um, you know, growing up with it. It's like you grow up with all the like little moments, the the little moments that you watch within this movie that are just <laughs> oh so iconic. And uh, I think just for its influence alone. Yeah, I mean, uh, some people might argue, oh, it's like it's their first one, so it's not like perfectly fleshed out. But I think, like, in terms of influence and in terms of just its, um, you know, innovation and how groundbreaking it was for the time, it deserves to be a classic. It deserves. Now, the next movie that was released is A Bug's Life, which I also have on VHS, only on VHS. I don't know why, uh, but I I also watch it on, I, don't, I also watched it when Disney Plus was around. Uh, so I can't make a decision if this is a classic or very good. It's a really, 
hard decision here. The, I will I will make the claim that it is easily the most underrated Pixar movie. People say, well, that's not that good. It's like, oh, it's not like, like it's it's underrated, guys. It's it has yeah. it has its place. It has it has a really nice like there are certain story plot elements where I'm like, ah, it's a little weird, but like at the same time, <laughs> like it has that overarching, like, you know, oh, the grasshoppers are taking our food. And it's it's sort of, you know, I don't want to say, you know, parallel to uh, events or things that occur in real life, but it does. So I mean. Again, give it credit for that at least. Also, Randy Newman's voice is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> From yeah. Toy Story going into, you know, doing the song for this, you know. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, <laughs> I can't help it. It's great. <laughs> gonna do I'm gonna do very good for this one. Because that's a fair, that's fair. It's fair. Almost a classic. There are some things that are kind of like eh, a little awkward, but like it's good enough to at least get yeah, that almost solid A minus or B plus, which and, however, whichever way you look at it. Yeah, we also got um, we got Toy so we got Toy Story two. That was the next movie uh, that they released after a boat's life. Now this movie is. It's a, it's a sequel, you know, you guys, it's a good sequel, but, you know, original was good, too, so I, I would, I would say it's, it's very good, too. We got, you know, we introduced, like, Jesse and Bullseye in this, you know, and, you know, Woody, this movie is basically about, you know, about, about Woody, and, you know, there's, there's, like, there's, there's stuff like about him, like he's he's part he's he's got a TV show, you know, Woody's Roundup, you know, that he doesn't even like know about. So, Toy yeah, Story. Yeah, I too. think. Yeah, I mean, if this were my list, I w- I probably would have put this in a classic, just because personally, like, I think it works really well as like a continuation of Woody's story, and I think the multiple buzzes the the whole like the the idea it, it oh goes, you know what no forget it, it. Really forget it i'm funny as a classic the whole You're like it's like, just right just for you, that. you, met, you like, mentioned the two buzzes i'm like oh oh my god i i just i have to i love i love that part about toy story the interaction it shows two buzzes growth along with the other buzzes like kind of like it's a clever way of like starting over whilst continuing it. And it's a nice, like, how do you put it? And it adds a lot of character development for both of them. Yeah. Especially in terms of like both him and Woody, not just him and the other Buzz. Yeah. It's, it's, I think, you know, it, it was it was a neat little like continuation that was, you know. Also, I felt right. like it was yeah. Also, rest in peace to Joe Ra- uh, Raft, who played a Wheezy. I love that character. Oh, yeah. That's right. E- even at the last scene where he, he literally, like, sings, he's like, you got a friend in me, yeah. like Robert Gold's voice. Oh, the ending credit, like, mid- mid-credit, like, outtake stuff in Bugs Life and, all, and Toy Story 2 and all these movies absolute comedic gold absolute comedic gold they, act, they actually and they're like and they script them but like they're <laughs> so good yeah <laughs> they actually for the for the toy story 2 outtakes on disney plus they <laughs> they actually censored uh the part where uh stinky pete is talking to like the the barbies oh come on Oh, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I get why, but like, come on. Uh, so, so the <clears throat> so the next movie is uh, Monsters Inc. I think I know you. You know where I'm going to put this classic. 
<laughs> introduce monsters you know what's inside your closet like are there monsters in your closet you know just a story billy crystal and john goodman are a great dynamic duo i love them both to death um and uh of course uh just just how the story is like with a a kid is in the monster world and humans are toxic in the monster world how do you deal with that this movie did a good job and of course Mike Wazowski <laughs> yeah no let's uh let me do this Wazowski <laughs> You didn't file your paperwork last night. I know, yeah. And I'm excited for the Monsters at Work Disney Plus series, which my cousin is going to be a part of. Yeah, that's happening. Look forward to that. So I think Finding Nemo's next. Yeah, Finding Nemo's next. Classic. Definitely a classic. How can you not, how can you not say it's like just good, pretty good, or yeah you know just ellen degeneres and just like the the plot and the storyline of like an over like uh, an overprotective you know clownfish that's really you know concerned about his son is like no 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 don't don't touch that no 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 i want you to be safe you know and just just ellen degeneres is a character description it's hilarious as hell and um, yeah, that De definitely the and the the mime the no the not not mime the mine like meme like there there is like oh, Pixar oh, movies like turn into like memes like yeah instantly. I forgot that was a meme but yeah, yeah. no like again that's also it, basically like all all those all those sequels were were voiced by fucking uh, Andrew Stanton the director of Finding Nemo. That all literally all of those sequels were were him. Oh my gosh, that's right. <laughs> I know. Anyway. No, yeah. yeah. Again, also agreeable. I think it's a nice play on the whole. It kind of reminds me now that I'm looking back from a film analytical standpoint. It kind of reminds me of that one Hitchcock movie. What was it? I can't remember the if it birds. was the man. I don't know if it was the birds. Well, not. Not the seagull part. I meant from. I meant storyline wise. It's oh. kind of like, oh god, what was it the man who knew too much? I think was the one. It's kind of like along those lines. It's like the whole espionage of like, oh, I gotta go find my son. It's the whole plot revolves around, oh, something happens in the beginning, and the rest of the movie is about trying to find that thing that's you know, find what's lost because you have that close attachment to it, and it's you know, the journey. Something right. happens, and because of that, you have to, you know, go on the journey to, and that journey comes with the, a little sprinkle of self-discovery. Yeah. So, next is The Incredibles, which absolutely is a classic, and I'm a sucker for superhero movies, and definitely no way. <laughs> classic. So this one, I mean, I would have, like, the way I do tier lists, I usually like rank them individually, like one above the other. Here, you're kind of just go here. I understand how we're just kind of going like on the lines. If I were doing it like kind of my way, I would have been like, no, Incredibles is the best one. I mean, it's it's a hard, it's really a hard decision, you know, because like some of these are like really good. The the bad ones, we're we're gonna get into those later, cause uh. Well, yeah, we'll get into the bad ones. Yeah, not we'll not right now. So, next, uh, oh, and that definitely Ed Edna Mode, voiced by uh Brad Bird. Love that oh, character. Just, everyone in that movie is so. And Sam so Samuel Jackson, on. he did this before he joined the MCU, which is well, yeah, amazing. Well, yeah. <laughs> It's just the whole thing is just like it's a super it's a kids movie, but it is a superhero movie. That's yeah. what it does so well. It tosses those two ideas back and forth so nicely, and right. it's like it doesn't treat the audience like they're dumb. Like it's not <laughs> like well, again, like the other some of the other ones, which we'll get to in a little bit. 
it like it actually treats its audience as if you know yeah we're smart we know what's happening and it's mature it get it you know yeah and that's how the story you know some of the little story elements come off as you know there's you know some of the more actiony elements and some of the the husband wife turmoil thing like it's done so well <laughs> yeah it is so next next is cars which i thought i thought the the i thought it was it's not a class it's not a classic but i love larry the cable guy as mater but it it was good you know it yeah, it was good yeah it it was it was good. I wouldn't. I mean, it's it's almost like a classic, and it fits with good. But I can't I can't put them both at the same time, unfortunately. But this was this was by this point this was where we started to like uh, people who are our age were like starting to actually you know watch these movies in the theaters. And it's, you know, it's an interesting little generational gap thing. And what's, this is kind of like our classic, but it's not a classic. It's, it's interesting. It, it's, it's an interesting case where it's like, it's not a perfect movie, but like, there are some things about it where it's like, you know, you kind of remember the little moments with Doc and like, yeah. of course, Mater is an obvious one. Paul, Paul and, Newman, you know, rest in peace, Paul Newman. Yeah. And um, can't can't forget our main guy, I Owen Wilson, Mister Meme of the Century. Wow, <laughs> you literally like, cut out when you're trying to. Oh, sorry. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. That's better. All right. So 2008, we didn't get a Pixar movie for 2007. Don't don't know why. I guess they I guess they just excited decided to take a take a break like that year um well, or they were too busy. too busy so we got ratatouille which i think it's a classic because yeah. you know there we go everyone everyone can cook and you know you know just just a part with but uh, i find like really funny and fascinating uh the part with linguini he doesn't know how to cook and this and remy the rat he knows how to cook and that where he's on like his his head like trying to control him like uh do this kind of like you know kind of like how a puppet is kind of a kind of a puppet you know yeah a little bit that's something that pixar is really good at is playing opposites and switcheroos of like oh yeah this you know who you expect to know how to cook doesn't know how to cook yet the one who is a literal rat <laughs> knows how to cook food really well but yeah. by the way it's played by the amazing, wonderful Patton Oswalt, who I've gotten to get into like his stand up rather recently, but like, God, he he play he knows how to play it nice in this movie because like you know you get to you know, his more adult stand up stuff and then you look at this and it's like there's such a huge contrast, but it yeah. goes to and, show and he, the any voice any has. voices. Any voice is Modoc now in the in the Hulu show, Marvel's Modoc. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh next we got Wally. You know, this this movie, this movie definitely deserves to be a classic too, because you know, definitely a good movie to watch on Earth, <laughs> like Earth Day. And um, yeah. you know, there's not really that that like that many. Um, like human actors or like human characters but like there's there's role there's like there's there's robots and there's these other technology and i i love that uh they used uh jeff garland as the the captain i liked his character you know yeah yeah i looked at that and i was like I, I checked back on that one cast list for the movie and i was like oh my god jeff garland he's on that show the Goldbergs that I like watch occasionally at like two in the morning when I have nothing else to do and I still feel like <laughs> I can stay awake. 
that guy. <laughs> yeah, speak, right. speaking, <laughs> speaking of Jeff Garland, the next, the next movie is uh, Toy Story 3. He voiced Buttercup in Toy Story 3. Toy Story oh. 3, did you cry during this movie? Because this definitely was a sad movie, but it was a classic, absolutely. I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna cry at the very end of it I was like I was like this is scaring me and I don't want this to end but I have like but of course this was before I was really into like story elements and movies and stuff or at least you know that realm and it's and I was really... like oh my god are they really gonna die yeah but then like <laughs> oh the crane comes up and then like they leave them and I was like oh well this has to be the end right yeah and of course there were some tears that were shed yeah and this movie definitely teaches you, you know, the importance of like of of growing up and moving on, you know. And uh, also, yeah. uh, also, I want to say this: rest in peace to Ned Betty, who who passed away recently, who voiced Lotso the Hug and Bear in this movie. Yeah, you will be missed, and your voice, your voice the a bear that loves to hug and smells like strawberries. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so next, yeah. next we got, okay, Cars 2. Now, I was entertained as a kid, but I was a damn child and I didn't even, I didn't even know, but I am an adult now and literally what I feel about this movie, I mean, I love, I love Mater and I love Mc McQueen, but just, I thought this movie like really focused on like merchandising and there were just too many characters and too many things to focus on Mater being a spy McQueen's race in a world grand prix, you know, too, too many story elements. And like, yeah. in one movie that's literally a sequel. So what, what the that's why I hardly watched it whenever it was on I was like, I want to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> And I've only really seen part of parts of it anyway, so I was like, "Huh, I've been spared." <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Oh wait. Oh wait, I skipped. I literally, damn, I skipped. I skipped this movie. Never skipped this movie. Uh, up. Literally, up was released. Oh after. yes. It was before. Well, I, yeah. No, it it was. Actually, is after Ratatouille. Oh, damn. Yeah, no. it was so. 2009? Up, I think 2009 is about right. Yeah, Up is a classic. Go go right there next to Wally. Go go ahead right there. You know, just. Again, about a guy who has a change of heart over the course yeah. of going on a journey. Yeah, and which. And done really well. And right? the twist was actually done fairly well. Right. And you know what? What I really like is they're they're making a series on Doug, which is gonna go on to Disney Plus. I think like this year or next year. I don't know, but we'll, well get it soon. Oh, that'll be interesting. <laughs> they're literally <I> how <laughs> and they're literally making a Cars Disney Plus series. It's like it's like what am I gonna use like with the value of my time? <laughs> oh uh -huh. God um not not saying i don't like i i don't dislike cars i like cars but just just how cars 2 was it it didn't really do well for the cars like universe um so anyway, what's our next movie Ooh, our next our next movie is um i think think it's yeah it is it's it's brave, brave. yeah now brave. josh i didn't watch this movie when this came out i i wanted to watch it but i didn't have a chance to watch it and when i watched it i'm like really that's it it's like a i mean hunger games was before brave i just want to point that out hunger games was before brave and I Merida. Know, I can, i'm looking back through and i'm like did it come did it really come out like before yeah it did, did it come out it came out after 400 days. i, I did my to, research it came out in march of 20 uh, 2012 and this came out in june of 2012 so oh uh, okay so 
All right, then. So I was, yeah. I mean, hardly watched this movie, so sorry. I mean, I did, I, I, did, I have only seen parts of it, and I was like, eh, it's okay. I mean, it's not like, it's not, again, it's not groundbreaking, but it's not like, I mean, power to redheads and people uh, who can shoot arrows. Gingers. Yes. And also power to bears because bears are awesome. But I mean, like, I mean, in terms of like storyline and whatnot, I mean, like, it, there were elements that were kind of like, I uh, got a couple laughs, but it wasn't uh, like, kind of, but it was, it was a little, it's a little bit flat for me. It was or a little at least bit flat from what I've seen, because again, I've only really seen bits and pieces of it. I mean, the what I actually I like that like Scott like the Scottish heritage was like was using that 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 was one thing I liked about Brave but I don't watch Brave that much so it sorry Brave you go you go there I mean if I did watch it a lot it would go I guess it would go to pretty good but sorry Brave you you go right next to Cars too yeah so. Monsters University, good prequel. Ah, uh, yes. And where's that? It was very good because, you know, I was wondering of like how, like, what it's like to go to college. And this movie really makes you feel what college is like, you know? And just how Mike and oh. Sully meets before how how they met before Monsters Inc. I thought this was very this was very accurate. Uh and uh I found, yeah I found it I found the whole thing of like the reversal like again it was another little reversal thing but it was like between the two character types of Sully and Mike and I was like oh now Mike's the one who's like really uptight and like working really hard and Sully's the one who's like slacking off and I'm like huh that was interesting. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I again, I enjoyed it. It was memorable, and there were certain parts where I, like, I think the most unforgettable moment in the entire movie is probably just anything that has art. Right. <laughs> the, the Charlie Day, only just because, like, I can't go back to jail. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and, I, and because <laughs> he looks like a, his character literally looks like a Muppet. He literally looks like he could be one of the Muppets. Yeah. Like he's easily if it's not if it weren't for of course the main of course the main two characters, like he is the most enjoyable character in the entire movie. Just right. <laughs> so good job, Machus University. So next movie. So a good dinosaur. So Josh, I don't know if I told you this, but so my uh, I mentioned this, so I mentioned this before, I'm related to Lucas Neff, and he was actually supposed to be Arlo, the main dinosaur in this movie, um, with uh, Bill Hader and uh, Neil Patrick Harris, and I, I think a couple of others. Um, but in the in the pro at the process of making this movie, they just <coughs> they just rewrote it to, or they re yeah they rewrote it to make. Arlo be more younger and they want a younger voice actor and they completely changed some of the cast. So, mm. yeah. I mean, I like dinosaurs, not hating on the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are awesome, but just this movie. Guys, if you would have if you would have kept my cousin in this, this would have gone high up. But for me, Sorry, just it is what it I is. Just, you know, I just heard it was a bad movie. <laughs> I I never watched. I never. That's one that I never. Watched. I, I mean, it, it it wasn't that bad. But why why do you why do you have to recast my cousin? Is my question. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a mm -hmm. little bit offended because I was on the set of one of his TV shows and I was talking to him about him. Like what? Like what? What's it like? Like are it's like yeah, yeah. It's 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 like this, and you know, it's it's so much fun. And now he didn't even he didn't even get to be in it. He wasn't even in it at all. So, yeah. Oh, and I I skipped the movie Inside Out. Oops. Oh, Inside Out. 
classic. Yeah, Where's I think it? it turns up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, in terms of like story the voice, and the like the idea, the, the concept. Like, they're really good at creating worlds that are imaginative, and especially, you know, what better world to create than the one that's directly inside your head? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's and it's from you know a very the innocent perspective of you know a little uh, a girl who's in i believe she's in middle school right she's in middle school definitely in middle yeah school. so like you know it's, you know allowing it, it's growing up from of course you know a young age getting to that you know coming of that innocent coming of age point where you're right. just like now i'm going through all these different emotions and it it really does work well in terms of you know how a person matures and how a person ages and goes through and has to take in the, you know, the weight of the world pretty much. Yeah. It, you know, really, it has that really nice perspective. Uh-huh. Yeah. So the next movie that came out, like right after Inside Out was Finding Dory, of course, which I'd say is very good. It's a good, it's a good sequel, but it, you know, I want to call it like a classic because Finding Nemo, this was like the, the first like movie and like the whole, but it was a good continuation of the story. I felt like the characters were evolved, like the new, even the new characters, Hank voiced by um, Ed O'Neill from Modern Family, hell yeah. And uh, oh, yeah. Haley voiced, voiced by uh, Ty Burrell, also from Modern Family. And uh, Caitlin Olsen as uh, Destiny. Now, now we know why Dory speaks whale. Uh, Caitlin Olsen from uh, "It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia." Um, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We also get Dory. Dory has parents, and they they introduced that, which I I I liked. I liked that they said that Dory has parents, and we got to explore her relationship with them and how she needs to find her parents but there's a conflict she forgets everything you know a lot i mean I, I think that's that's what they were going off of was the idea of like oh yeah we have this we've established this character that forgets literally everything why not make that the centerpiece of the whole movie and i mean it works i mean not quite as well as of course like the masterpiece that is finding nemo but i mean like it works well enough, I think, to its to <laughs> what the movie was trying to go for. Right. Also, Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> Sigourney Weaver, yeah. That's it. That's Sigourney it. Weaver. So I don't need to say anything else. Just Sigourney Weaver. Yeah. So the next. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Moving on. We got Cars three, and uh, I actually I prefer this movie over uh, Cars two. So surprisingly, I, I mean, very, very I think good. It it and the first cars i feel like there are certain things about cars 3 that are better it's not as memorable as the first cars is but there are some right. aspects of it that are better surprisingly yeah. and i'm like oh wow <laughs> yeah and i i feel like uh just like uh you know they uh, like they like evolved like uh like they focus on like uh like McQueen's relationship with Doc Hudson and how he's currently mentoring Cruz Mar Ram Cruz Mar Ramirez. I'm sorry, I, I butchered and screwed up her name. <laughs> Cruz Mar Ramirez and uh, how he's thinking about, you know, the good times he had with, with Doc and the advice he gave him. And he's trying to, you know, mentor Cruz. Where literally at first, Cruz is trying to mentor uh, McQueen, but it was like Cruz didn't didn't know about like going outside. So literally, McQueen is mentoring Cruz. It's like da 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 da, da you know. Yeah, it's about the struggle of like you know, become like uh, it's just it's the basic story of mentor or you no know, mentee becomes mentor. Yep, and how to adapt to that way of you know how you know legends can grow and how they mature and how they become you know 
their way of becoming better versions of themselves through teaching other people. Right. So it's a nice, yeah, nice character study there. Yeah. Moving on, we got Coco, which very much deserves to be a classic. Just oh all yeah, the songs. and remember me. Yeah. Oh, so sad, but it's so good. It's so good. It's yeah. so it's so good. Uh, in the land land of the land of the dead, you know, day of the dead. I like how they explored that topic because you know, it's a pot. It's a popular like it's a popular holiday for like for uh for like the for like the the Mexican culture, you know. Yeah, and it's a cool little it's a cool little uh, exploration into that. And again, the world they create is amazing and right. colorful, and you know, pretty much you know the entire like the story is great. I do feel like there were parts where I was like, uh, you know, twist villain, not as twisty enough. Me maybe. I mean, it was a twist villain. I was like, okay, yeah, sure. But at the but same he time, was, but he was an asshole. I see in the why. End. I can see why people are like, oh, I, I can I saw this coming from a mile away. I mean I didn't, but like I, I didn't I didn't either. I'm with you. I, I didn't either. I didn't see it. Kind of you look back and you're like, I can see why. But I mean at the same time, like, you know, I think there's so many like moments of just like the what really drives it is the heartfelt moments between you know his relationship with what he does versus his relationship with the rest of his family and the whole like expectation thing of oh you're supposed to be doing this not this because it's bad because you know it's about the conflict is really being held to an expectation that you don't feel comfortable with and you don't want to be, you know, part of, and you just want to go out and do you because you don't want to be held to a standard. Yeah. And it's, and, it, and you know, and then of course the ending, it really ties that idea together nicely when he's finally singing to Coco. And I also heard that there's actually another version in Spanish that actually like, yeah, it focuses on her more, if I'm not mistaken, uh -huh. which I'm like, wow, that's actually really that's dope. <laughs> yeah. So next we got Incredibles 2, which I I thought it was good. It's a good sequel, but not not very good or like classic. It's it's you know, it's it's just good. I, I know I've heard the backlash between the, the villain and uh yeah. it, it is a surprise, but I'm I don't I don't agree with it, but it it is it is a big it's a big shocker, but it felt a little bit on the nose. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, we need to have something. I have to commend the movie for at least for, I, I at least have to commend the movie for dropping in a couple of swears though. I was like <laughs> <laughs> a Pixar movie. Wow. But at the same time, I'm like, well, I mean, is the story that good? Right. Because I mean, to be fair. The Incredibles is really hard to top. The first movie was so masterful. It was hard to top that. It was it's like tough, tough act to follow. Yeah. So you at least gotta commend them for trying. Right. So to at least right where it left off, but like, you know, it was there was no way. Yeah. All right. So Toy Story 4 classic but i did oh, have some classic classic but i did i did have some problems with what like woody how this pole string i didn't like that i i didn't like gabby gabby she was she was like a, a bitch it's like get get your own voice box like get it from someone else why does that have to be woody and just just how bonnie like like treated like woody in this movie uh, she hardly even used her him at all in this in this movie. Um, and I I really like the main focus of like your your main perp like what's what's your what's your purpose like what what do you want you know like what yeah. what do you want to do and Bo Bo Peep 
I love that they brought Bo Peep in this. Welcome back, Bo. We, we missed you. And definitely, it's a great ending to one of the most iconic animated franchises of all time, you know? Yeah, I definitely spoiled myself on the ending because I'm going to be honest, I had no time to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and I should have, I really should have, but like, I know the ending and I'm like, oh, well, that's, even if the movie isn't that perfect, so I've heard, I at least know that the ending is like debatedly sadder than the one in the third movie. Yeah. Like, right. yeah, I definitely spoiled myself on that one. Yeah. So next, next we got Onward, which I really loved. So it's. All right. Give this, give this one to you. You, you take this one. Cla classic. You haven't seen this one yet? I, I, again, I told you I haven't seen all of these movies yet. And again, I haven't had time, but like. And Onward was one of. The, go, go, go watch Onward, Josh. Go, go watch Onward. It's not. <laughs> it, it, it was. This was actually my last movie before the pandemic. So that's why it's way up there. And I just. Tom Holland and Chris Brack. Come on. Like, they're great together, even as brothers. Uh, I love that whole medieval and uh, like go, going on a quest. So I've been watching Lord of the Rings lately, and I kept thinking of Onward. And I'm like, oh yeah, they did. They did mention some things from Lord of the Rings to this, and it was it was very good. It was very different, but just the concept, bringing your dad back to life for for one day to spend time with him, but it's just legs, so you gotta go on a quest to get the upper, like the upper half, like of the torso. Yeah. Interesting little, little thing there. I was like, huh. They only have the legs. They only, huh. have, they only have the legs. <laughs> so next we, we got soul, which is, is another, it's another classic. Cause you know, explains like, well, it does explain, but it shows us like African American culture and just like soul and jazz like music, and definitely answers the question of like, uh, like, like, uh, what what makes you you like, just just so like the the soul world is like this this is how you are before like you come to Earth like before you're born. I love that concept, you know. I thought it was yeah, they really. <laughs> They went, they really hammered it in on this one in terms of like what they were probably thinking of initially for like story concepts. This one, they they were literally like, what does it mean to exist? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just, yeah. Well, I'm like, okay, then this is, uh, we're going to start here before you're born and then we're going <laughs> to go through and like, to have this whole journey of you know like you know of course you got to have those shenanigans but like it's so weird of like it ultimately ends with like oh it's just it's it's not the passion that it's not the passion that fuels the the life you live it's the little things it's the little moments in life. And I was sitting there like, oh, this is where they're going with it. And it's so awesome. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. And it's like, you know, such a broad concept. And people are constantly questioning it every single day. And it's like, and it was, it was so awesome to kind of see it through the perspective of this jazz musician who's like a, I guess a starving jazz, I want to call it like a starving artist, like a starving jazz musician yeah. kind of perspective. And I was like, it's it's such a nice way of putting it. Yeah, voiced by none other than Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx, yes. All right. Last last Pixar movie, which came out today, Josh has yet to see it, but I, I watched it last night. And actually I watched it again this morning because i'm i'm gonna be reviewing it later say stay tuned for that this one is also a classic it's like 
Pixar's new like original movies, they're starting like to become classics. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I think some people might agree with me, but I don't know. Other people might feel differently. But I thought this movie was a classic and it dips in on the Italian heritage. And guess what? I'm half Italian. So it's oh, wow. I got I gotta put in the classic. Yeah. Grazie, grazie. Uh and uh just the whole the whole concept of the movie is it's like you you just you got you gotta find yourself and you know just you got you gotta op- you gotta open up. I'm not gonna like spoil anything, Josh, but it's it's like the main concept is like op- opening up, you know, trying like new things, you know, even though you're not really sure about it. But yeah. yeah I, I, I was going like I've seen the trailers, so I was like, oh, this is gonna be one of those things of like, <laughs> oh, you you went to the surface world, why didn't you do that? And then like uh, there's the conflict of like, well, maybe if you tried it out, it wouldn't be so bad. And it, bad. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um so that that is it. That's uh that's my my tier list with uh with with help from uh from josh uh now probably sometimes like this this could this could this could change i i don't know a lot a lot of my thoughts and opinions like really change like on on the fly so this probably will change i don't know but this for this video this is my tier list this is my tier list um if you guys want us to do like other movies, like uh, Disney movies or Marvel movies, or I, I don't know, DC, DC or uh, any other movies, you know, let, let us know. And I'll, I'll consider it, you know, I'll consider it and I'll see when I want to do it. Um, Throw a comment in the, in the, in the thing. <laughs> Throw out your comments. Say, hey, what do you want to do? Right. What, what do you want? And then you can throw, you can also, I guess, throw comments to, I mean, either him or me and be like, oh, if you wanted something on his channel, if there's anything that, if you follow me and want to see something on my channel, then, yeah, you know, well, I'll I'm, do that. Well, I'm not going to do Godzilla and Kong because, you know, I I know that Josh already, already did that. Don't want to do the same thing he did. Plus, I've seen every movie. <laughs> yeah, that's that's also another thing. I haven't seen. I've seen I I've seen like the like the latest, like the whole MonsterVerse like trilogy from Godzilla the Godzilla versus Kong. But I think I I saw King Kong with Jack Black. I don't I don't remember if I did or not. But yeah, but hey. It, yeah. that's, that's a that's another topic that's for... a topic yeah uh I'm, I'm gonna stop to share and close off the video uh thank you guys for watching stay tuned for my luca review which i'll be doing uh ap- after this um when i'm done making this video and also uh check out my other reaction videos and uh our view for first the first two episodes of loki um episode three we'll be doing next week and of course episode seven of uh hsn tm ts uh season two next week and uh yeah and don't don't forget to subscribe to josh uh he's he's working on two videos that are coming up and uh Follow us on all of our social medias, like the video, favorite, share it, do what you want. Make make your own tier list if you want. I don't know. It's probably different than what, what I had or what, what we had in this video, you know? Probably it is, probably is different. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching, and we shall see you next time. Peace. Rock on. Rock on. Don't forget to rock on. Sorry. Rock on.